After having nobody on the injury report last week, we knew that was probably too good to last. Welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe, and welcome to an injury report edition of Believer's Talk, where we give you the Buffalo Bills injury report as of Friday, the Friday before the game, game in two days, less than 48 hours away. And make sure you're right here on Believer's Talk, as we're going to give you live play-by-play -play and reaction to the game between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins, a division rivalry game. The, the Dolphins on a two-game winning streak. The Bills looking to get back into the winning record as they lost last week to Cleveland, looking back to get to their winning ways. Now, again, like I said last week, there was no one on the injury report, so I didn't have to do one of these videos, but this week, unfortunately, not the same case. Now, the injury report is still a lot smaller than most teams. We are very uh, fortunate to not have the injuries that a lot of teams have. However, we do see some names when we pull up the injury report. If you're not already subscribed to or following Banged Up Bills on Twitter, definitely a good follow they let you know who is banged up for the buffalo bills each and every day who is in practice who is in practice so follow banged up bills on twitter if you're not already i'm gonna break down who's injured actually we only have one name currently on the uh on the questionable for game status list everyone else is either a full participant in practice or on the ir and we already know about them so Let's talk about this guy. It's going to be Jerry Hughes out with a groin injury listed as questionable for the game this Sunday. Now, if you looked at the injury report, Lorenzo Alexander and Frank Gore and Ty Insecki all appeared on due to rest days, right? They get their rest days every single week. It's no surprise to see them on here. Lorenzo Alexander did not participate in practice on Wednesday. Frank Gordon on Thursday. And Ty Insecki also did not participate in practice on Wednesday. Also had Dawson Knox on this list. He had a knee injury. Did not participate in practice on Thursday. However, he was a full participant in practice on Friday. So expect to see him good to go come this Sunday against the Miami Dolphins. So that leaves Jerry Hughes left on the slate for the guys who are injured. And guys, we all love Jerry Hughes, uh, but unfortunately this season just really hasn't matched up to some of the previous seasons that he's had for the Buffalo Bills. Currently with two and a half sacks on the season after nine games, talking about 30 tackles, uh, I'm sorry, 19 tackles, one, uh, four tackles for a loss, four QB hits so we expect to see more of him he does have one fumble recovery as well and three pass deflections we would expect to see more of him most years my guy last year had seven sacks this year only on pace to get around four and a half sacks but that does match his total from two seasons ago when he only had four sacks so maybe a down year for Jerry Hughes after we re-sign him or I shouldn't say we re-sign him but we um Give him a contract extension at the beginning of the season, and he's kind of in let down season. Hopefully, it gets better. Hopefully, his injury is not that uh, severe. Obviously, he's questionable for this game, so would love to see him out there. Love to see a full slate Buffalo Bills, just like we had last week. Uh, full complement, I should say, of this team. And Jerry Hughes would definitely help get create some pressure along the edge on Ryan Fitzpatrick. If not, you're going to see seeing a lot more of Shaq Lawson, possibly even see uh, Alexander Lorenzo Alexander line up in the defensive end role. As as well good thing about having Lorenzo Alexander however you don't want him sticking his hand in the dirt too often as Mario would say from hashtag sports so again guys quick update on the injuries Jerry Hughes the only guy listed after last week there's no one on the injury report this week a little a little bit more involved this week a couple injuries for the Buffalo Bills but overall not too bad Jerry Hughes the only questionable guy for the Buffalo Bills going into that game against Miami Dolphins and again guys if you can't watch the game or if you want to hang out with Bills Mafia while the game is going on, tune in both right here on YouTube at Believers Talk this Sunday. And also, if you look in the description below, there's a link for Sportscaster where we're changing the game. Go ahead and click that link on Sunday and join us over there. Either way, it's going to be a great time watching the game, hopefully watching the Bills get another victory. Believers Talk also teaming up with BoyTheStampede.com. Join Jeremy and some of the guys over there as they give you a great podcast. New to BoyTheStampede.com is the, is the podcast, so make sure you check that out they have writers over there who do a great job keeping you informed on buffalo bills news and then you find me over there as well so go to where the stampede.com and again join me sunday for a live play playing reaction as we play the miami dolphins i look forward to talking to you all soon until i do go bills